Hi, my name is Jacob Rockwitz. This is a demo of the latest version of the YAML4 module for Drupal 8. The original concept of this module was built for Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. They were an early adopter of Drupal 8 and launched on a beta version of Drupal. At the time, eForm and WebForm was not available for Drupal 8 and they needed a form building solution. And more importantly, they needed a form building solution they could collect data from on the site. Uh, this module has evolved a lot from that. Um, it's gradually reaching feature parity with web forms, and I'll kind of get into that. And that's what this demo is about to get people more familiar with that. Um, a, an overview of what this module is is it, it's a, a module that extends Drupal's form API, which is called FAPI. And that's how all forms are built in Drupal, including all the fields and node edit forms on the site. Um, it, that, you take that in contrast to the contact storage module, which is extending the field API for Drupal, which is a more advanced system that is used to really build websites. Um, that's the big contrasting difference, and I'm just going to demo the module, but we, later on we can talk more about those differences. Um, I, I think a more important takeaway here is the goals of this module. It, it, it's really, it's to build, it's to be an easy way to build super flexible forms, and then also to provide a really simple workflow to work with those forms, which is the, the workflow that WebForms is doing, where you build the form, you publish the form, you collect data on the form, and you download the data to Excel. Um, and that's what this module is doing, and I'm going to start demoing some of the features of this module. Um, first, I want to show that it's enabled. I also want to emphasize that the UI is a separate module right now because it's experimental. It was just added in the last release. Um, to get to the YAML form interface, you go to Structure YAML form, and here's a list of all the forms. It ships with only one live form with a bunch of examples and some templates. Um, I'm going to use the contact as the first, you know, here's a contact form. I think it's a good starting point. Um, you can generate tests, which really helps when you're building forms to quickly just see how the data is going to you know, flow. Um, we're going to go into the edit. This is the UI. Um, a great example of the UI I've came up with is to just add a company field. But first, I just want to illustrate all the elements that are possible, anything that's in core, and then there's a lot of custom elements that have been created. But for now, we're just going to add a text field. we we'll call it company. Um, I think everyone is going to be very familiar with this user interface and the properties here. Um, and then some more advanced stuff, which you'll figure out as you go through it. Here's the company field. Now let's say I need to move it up under your name, drag and drop. And now you can see there's kind of a mistake here that I made where it says company when it really should say your company. And instead of going and editing the form, I want to show kind of the source code behind these forms that is fully editable. Um, this is a unique feature to this module. So here's the company field. I can move it up. And yeah, let's put it at the top. That's fine. And then I can hit save and let's do a preview. And you can see I added your company and changed the label. That source code mode is very powerful. It gives you the option. I'll walk you back through it. So here's the UI. Here's the source code. You can build forms in this interface. If the UI is not enabled, this is what you get. Um, every setting is adjustable. You're going to start seeing hints as I scroll through this that you can control the buttons, the confirmation, the wizard multi-pages. You can do previews and drafts. And, and then you can control submission throttle. And you can even disable results, which we'll get into another tab in a second. Um, there's full access controls to the submissions. And the next thing is there's hand, emails and handlers, which is the idea that you can set up separate processes to handle your data. Email is the most typical one to send emails, but you could have this go into a whole separate database or web service or post it somewhere else. It also does some third-party integration. Honeypot, if you have the module installed, it allows you to turn on and off honeypots for one form or all forms. And now I'm going to walk through some examples of all the elements and types of forms you could create. It ships with a kitchen sink example. Um, this just shows all the form elements available in core. I'm going to scroll through it slowly, but you see it starts getting to HTML5, a lot of data elements, and then you actually can tap into Drupal's WYSIWYG capabilities, file uploads, entity autocompletes, password confirmation, table selects. I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to show you some custom examples that are included. Um, you can do some custom properties, unique values, private fields. You can control what markups displayed. It also shows code mirror integration, which I use heavily on the UI. Um, email conf confirming email addresses. And then there's this nice select other widget. It also applies to checkboxes and radios. Full Likert support. There's lots of examples of Likert. And then there's validators um, included. Also, caption integration. If you turn on the caption module, you'll be able to integrate one of those. Um, Moving on, this is an interesting example of the States API. This is Drupal's out-of-the-box conditional logic being supported. And the way that's set up is just interesting, shows you kind of some more of the advanced capabilities. If I click Edit, 
We have the standard properties, but states is a very custom concept, and I don't have a UI for it. But all these custom properties go at the bottom of each element. So you can add custom properties to your elements. And this is an example of the states API. It's very standard, anyone that's done it, nothing new. Um, maybe I'll build a UI for it, but I don't have to. There's a way for you to go in and edit it. And you can actually add your own custom prop. You add your own custom attributes. You can add your own custom tags to your form elements. Um, moving back up, I want to demo some more features. I'm just walking through these forms. Um, there's custom. Well, I'm not going to go into custom form. I'm going to go into element masks. That's custom formats are how the values are formatted to send emails, but you can then quickly see some examples of you can limit what people can type. Um, and then more important is the wizard, which I think everyone is really keen on. Um, I'm going to do a test and just walk you through it. It's, you know, you can do a multi-step form and hit preview and you can get a preview and then you can hit apply. Um, the only other thing I kind of skimmed over, and I'm going to jump right to it, is you can also, it, the downloading of submissions is really simple. This is the same thing in, in, in web forms. It's almost identical. You can look at all your submissions. You can get a table. You can filter it, and then you can download it. Um, so that's the demo of this module. Um, uh, the conclusions I want you to walk away with is it's a complete form building solution for Drupal 8. Um, I want to emphasize my goal is to make it easy to build forms while still making a very powerful and flexible form builder that you can build almost any form you need and address any requirements your clients might have. Um, what's next for this module is I need people to help to use it, to provide feedback, post issues. Um, I need the API reviewed. I need bad smelling code you know, taken out of the system. I've tried my best to you know, keep it as clean as possible. Um, it definitely needs documentation. And then I'll do some minor fixes and enhancements with the hope of getting an RC out in, the, in this summer. Um, thanks again for your time. I hope you have fun using the module.